Hey, happy Monday. Hope everybody is doing well. Uh, we are we are at about the three-quarter way part, uh, point. So uh, that bright light at the end, that is, uh, that is uh, us almost finishing this class. So this is kind of a big week. So I thought I'd give us a, a, a bit of a review. So we've got the uh, research project is due, uh, and it's due uh, by next Sunday. Uh, uh, I gave you tons and tons of examples in week 11. So uh, if you need examples of what to do, what not to do. So like here I've got example, like uh, market research example three. This was more of a commercial, not a market research report. So I put that in there so you could kind of get an example of what not to do. But this is pretty straightforward, guys. Um, and, and there's a big reason why I have you put it onto YouTube. And the, the reality is, is that uh, if you come up with a great idea, and, and everybody's got several great ideas in them, right? So when you come up with your great idea, and it's time for you to go tell the world, the reality is, is that you need the most effective, efficient way possible to go tell a whole ton of people. Um, and the best way to do it is to create a simple uh, video, like I'm having you do now, uh, and post it to YouTube. As a matter of fact, a lot of these videos now are driving uh, crowdfunding campaigns. And uh, crowdfunding just became a heck of a lot easier uh, last week. Last week, uh, there's a, a new regulation that's been approved by the uh, Security Exchange Commission called Reg A Plus Level 3 which makes it easier for entrepreneurs to raise up to a million bucks and um, through actual crowdfunding, which is amazing. Uh, this has been a, a, a hard uh, fought bot battle and it's done. But that means that, you know, when you come up with your crazy idea, you've got to have a way to fund it. And at the end of the day, you need to be able to go tell, you know, 100,000 people. Uh, and so you want to get comfortable doing this. So just, you know, uh, whether you create a PowerPoint, like there's some examples here, or you actually, you know, put your, you know, pulled up your, uh, your iPhone and give your pitch, uh, whatever you choose to do, uh, either is, is perfectly fine. So let's take, a, let's take a look at this week. You're going to finish that, but then as you're finishing it, we start the budget project. And, um, and, and it's not, it's really not that big of a deal because what I've done is, let's pull it up entrepreneurship one so here's the deal is that I created this three-year workbook that really gives um, it makes it much easier for you to do uh, the whole budget process and um, and so for example uh, it's all broken into tabs startup costs income variables and estimator I'll explain each of these but there's a, a full uh, video um, that's here now um, three-year workbook, budget workbook overview. So you have the ability to watch this video and get far more information. But the reality is, is all you need to do is fill in these blanks. It will then push to this operating expense, all wages, cost of goods, gross margin, everything. And then it'll finally push to an income statement. And this is what investors want to see. They want to see, is this thing going to make money or not? And, um, and so it, it, it's kind of a daunting task because what I'm asking you to do is to, you know, how many employees do you think you're going to have, right? Are wages going to increase one year, year to year? And if they are, you could just put in, you know, uh, I'm generous. I'm going to increase wages by 10% going into year two. And it automatically does it. So there's a whole spreadsheet for this. Um, there's a whole video for this that you can, uh, that you can watch. And it's, it's right here. Um, if you want, you can knock out a little draft and send it to me and I'll take a look. We could schedule a time to do a quick debrief on it. But at the end of the day, this is, you know, doing market research is a critical piece of the equation because it proves there's a, a market opportunity. Second, we got to make sure the thing makes money. If it doesn't make money, what's the point, right? And then it could just be a hobby. And my recommendation is if you want a hobby, go play golf. It's kind of fun, right? You get to go outside, hang out with your friends. Um, and so not a whole lot uh, else do. Uh, you got a discussion board and it's just a quick assessment. And so I try to do this throughout the semesters. Give me your two pennies, right? What are your thoughts on how the class is going? Is it easier than you thought, harder than you thought? 
Uh, do you think the online format is good for you? Just give me your two cents, right? Um, and then obviously, let's get those market research projects due. Um, because then there's going to be a peer review uh, that's due next week. So if you've got questions, as always, uh, don't hesitate. Email me, call me. I understand a couple of you had a problem with uh, uh, the midterm. Uh, one of you in particular, it looks like you submitted it too early. Um, sorry to hear that. I, uh, the gentleman in question had already been doing really well. Um, but it looks like most of you took it and, uh, and you got it done on time. So obviously there was no innovator solution questions on there. So uh, I'm sure you guys had a, a nice uh, sigh of relief when you didn't see those. So if you got questions, call me, email me, come see me on the campus. I've got a very nice office. Uh, it's all nicely decorated. I've got a coffee pot. You can come have a cup of coffee. We could talk. Uh, um, if you guys have any other questions, give me a buzz.